Hey everyone, this is Wumbo, and today it's just going to be another short video. I'm going to be showing you the different loadouts that I'm going to be going into Witch Queen with. But before we get started, I'm just going to ask you a player to like the video and hit the subscribe button and bell. This way you'll be notified in the next video I release, and you'll also receive stream notifications. But anyways, back to the video. Uh, before we get started, just going to let you know, uh, all the armor pieces are going to stay the same. It's just that the mods are going to change depending on the artifact mods or the weapon. Uh, this is probably going to be my day one, you know, Witch Queen was just released. This is what I'm going to be running in with. The first is a Time Loss Fatebringer with Explosive Payload, Frenzy, and Adept Big Ones. Uh, this one's very good for ad clear, and it's overall just, it has to be my favorite weapon because it is just so fun to use. It's so useful, you know, you can use it just without any activity, you know, because it's a raid weapon. Moving on, we got a Cartesian Coordinate. Uh, this one isn't really going to change as much, you know, throughout the video. This is probably just going to be here for the majority, just because of, I don't know, I like it. It's just a really good weapon. But depending on how the weapon changes are in Witch Queen, this may be switched out. But anyway, uh, we got Feeding Frenzy, Vorpal, and Bospec. As of right now in the season, uh, season 15, uh, this is a top tier weapon. You know, for only like a secondary and energy weapon, this puts out one of the best damage. And, and that's only because of particle deconstruction. But anyway, moving on, the one, the only, Galahorn. I'm going to be running in with Galahorn just because of the pure nostalgia. And I also hope that next season is going to be centered about uh, rocket launchers. Because this season it was about, you know, fusion rifles, linear fusion rifles and whatnot. I'm really hoping next season is going to be about rocket launchers because this is cool. I I absolutely love my Galarhorn. And, you know, if it just turns out to be crap and Witch Queen, I, I, I don't know. I don't know. I just feel like it's going to be a lot of wasted content. But anyway, that's this is loadout number one. Let's move on. All right, so for this loadout, you're probably going to call me crazy, but that's all right. On the first slot, we have Extraordinary Rendition with uh, Subsistence, Rampage, and Minor Spec. I absolutely love this SMG. It carried me through the, the season with, the, with the, the big lady, and I just feel in Witch Queen, this is most likely going to be a top tier weapon again, because I mean, it's still really good right now. It's just that there's better options. But, um, you know, if it turns out that this isn't a top tier weapon, again, th this will probably just be part of a loadout but i'll probably just switch out extraordinary rendition uh moving on to the energy weapon we have philo first and last out uh we got auto loading holster a vorpal weapon and boss spec this has just been a top tier weapon but unfortunately the shotguns are you know kind of crap at the moment and i believe in witch queen this is not going to be a very good weapon but if it turns out that it is a good weapon and I truly hope it does become a good weapon, again, because this is my favorite for the longest time. Um, I, you know, I'm probably just going to use it. You know, there's no reason not to, but moving on to the last one here, we have power weapons. Xenophage. This is just an absolute classic. It still slays out in this season. Uh, if there was no particle deconstruction this season, I can easily say that this would be a dominating weapon at the moment. You know, this is, it's been a strong weapon from the start, and, you know, even with nerfs and whatnot, this is still an absolute killer of a weapon, alright? So this is the second loadout, let me know what you think, and we're moving on to the third. Okay, so for the third loadout, we got Ignition Code with Blinding Grenade, Slide Shot, Vorpal, and Boss Spec. Uh, this was very good last season in GMs and whatnot because of the, the mods and whatnot, but it, even now... It's still a, a very good grenade launcher because of blinding grenades. Uh, you know, enemies, they can't, they don't attack within that time period, which makes it very good for damage and whatnot. And the second, we have Gnawing Hunger with Subsistence, Demolitionist, and Miner Spec. Uh, this is for ad clear. It is absolutely incredible. Uh, you kind of just slay through all the crowds and whatnot, you know. So if, if you're on a team and you have this, you're most likely going to be doing most of the killing. And then moving on to the power weapon, we have Fallen Guillotine. Uh, I got Swordmaster's Guard, Tireless Blade, Whirlwind Blade, and Boss Spec. Uh, this has been my favorite sword for the longest time, and I'm probably never going to give it up. Yeah, it's just iconic. I don't know. <laughs> I, feel, I feel like I should use the word iconic here. But uh, it, it's a very good sword. I'm, I'm going to be running in with this maybe just for, 
maybe probably just for fun and like strikes and whatnot maybe a couple story missions but this is not going to be my first pick definitely not and then as a bonus loadout this is just going to be for my trials loadout if i ever go back to trials i haven't played it for a very long time it was fun for that one weekend but after that it just kind of i don't know kind of died out again and uh by the way for the subclass uh this has been you know part of the video i, I i'm sorry i just use striker a lot it's probably going to be you know my main use for the witch queen but um you know for sentinel and whatnot i usually go to this when it's like a high tier activity and sunbreaker i only use in like pvp or when i just want to have fun but uh trials i i always i'm sorry i use code of the missile i i look it's it's very good all right it's very good and i'm never going to switch off of it for trials Anyway, in the first spot, we have the Messenger. I'll keep my uh, 55 Crucible kills. You know, it's pretty good and whatnot. But um, we got a Killing Wind, Desperado, and Targeting Adjuster. Uh, this is just an absolute killer of a weapon in Trials. Um, you know, you knock one guy down. You, you, want, you want the other guy to push. Because with Desperado activated, he no, like, they're gone. They're genuinely just deleted. As long as you hit all crits and whatnot, they're dead. It's a, it's a very good gun. I'm very happy I got this. I've made a couple clips. I haven't uploaded them to YouTube. Uh, I probably never will, but maybe one day. Uh, anyway, in the second spot, we have Found Verdict with auto-loading holster, opening shot, and targeting adjuster. You know, this is just uh, a shotgun for whenever you're getting pushed or when you need to make that push. Uh, it's a very good shotgun. The impact's very high. Uh, the spread's pretty close together, actually, so that's pretty good. Um, I have liked this shotgun for the longest time, and I'm probably never going to switch off of it for Trials. But uh, anyway, moving on to the power weapons. Again, Fallen Guillotine, it's the exact same sword. I just like it so when I get heavy ammo, I can move around the map a little bit. Uh, just makes, you know, call calls and whatnot very easy. Uh, and I, I just prefer it in a Trials match. Okay, well, I mean, uh, yeah, that was kind of just, that was it, I guess. Um, thanks, everyone, for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, share, and comment. You don't have to do any of those things, but I'm asking you, so please. All right, thanks once again. I'll see you on the next one. Bye.